I'm replacing that dumb blind, this one, that one, and this one for brand new smart blinds. If you want to save money, keep your house healthier, and make your life a little easier, stay tuned. I'll show you all next on Home Pro Hero. So a year ago, I did this master bathroom remodel and I put this giant window in, which called for a new shade. I found this company called Smart Wings. Seemed to be a lot cheaper than all the others with the same features and functions and fabric choices to choose from. So I bought an automated shade for here, an automated shade for my closet over there. Over the last year, I've loved these shades. We do absolutely nothing. They go up and down on their own on a time schedule. They can be programmed for about anything you could possibly think of. They keep my windows nice and clean and moisture free. What makes these better than the other automated shades out there like Luthon or Eevee? It's real simple. They're compatible with every automated system out there, including SmartThings, HomeKit, Matter, Alexa, or Siri, to name a few. You don't even need those fancy systems. They come with a remote control, pre-programmed, ready, right out of the box. Controls up to five at a time, or you can get a bigger remote that controls more than five. No third-party app, ready to go from day one. As you can see, I chose black as a fabric. They got all different types you can choose from. The most important thing about these shades and why I chose black is when I'm not using them, or don't need them, they hide real nice and neat in the existing black windows I already have. My shades are 60% blackout. You can't see through them. They give just enough light that we're comfortable with and during the day when we're not using them, they're up and out of the way and we're letting the sun come through the windows that we paid so much to have. Just like most other major blind companies online, you measure the inside dimensions of the window three times. You go with the smallest measurement. They take a quarter inch off the factory. You pick your fabric. You pick the type of electronics you need inside the shade, decide if you want a remote, some other features, and you're good to go. They come from China, but they were at my house within seven days. Pretty quick. With all that said, let's go install the new shades I got, four of them, and let me tell you why I decided to go with smart shades in those rooms too. Let's start with the laundry room window, right? Why am I replacing this with a smart blind? Pretty simple, no one ever opens it, and I kind of like that view. I'll put this on a timer. That way it's always open during the day. The problem with this shade is it's above our bed. So it's almost impossible for my wife to get to and I'm too lazy to actually open it. So it stays closed all the time. On top of that, like all the blinds I'm moving today, look at the dust. When they're in that position all the time, you can expect to see lots of dust. When the new shades are in the closed position or up position, they're not likely to collect any dust at all. Regardless, I'll be putting this one on the timer, open at 8 a.m. every morning, and close at dusk. Do you want to see why I need to replace this blind for a smart blind? Look at this. That's ice. Good quality windows, ice. Because these dumb blinds haven't been open in so long, this is what it causes. Let's get this blind off. I'll tell you how I'm going to prevent that here in a second. Luckily won't have the same issue because she opens her window regularly. Not nearly as bad, but there is some ice there. So with smart blinds, you can actually set it so their phones are sensors. So when their phones aren't in the house, um, I can tell the blinds that go up and then I can also tell the blinds that go down whenever they get home because they don't like their blinds open. By the way, these are Gobi lights. Pretty cool lights. If you ever had a chance to look at these curtain lights, they're really cool. You don't want ice and water on your windows, inside or outside, for obvious reasons. Let's go see what the new blinds look like. So I expect the packaging to be good like any other blind company. This one, no different. Charging cord, super long charging cord by the way. The battery. Remote control. Mounting hardware. Instructions, won't need these. Get the rest of these opened up and uh, make sure we got all the parts. Secret surprise, I'll show you in a minute. Here's my three brackets. Let's go mount them. Okay, I've got the laundry room blind set up and ready to go in. It's got three of these little brackets. I really like them and they're spring loaded. Basically put them up there and push up and they're in. They need to go in three different locations. Doesn't matter where, as long as you're not getting involved with anything mechanical. These things are like paper thin. They're not like those big bulky wood ones. Uh, they weigh literally nothing. Okay, and then we got the battery in this little pack right here. It actually clips on the back side. I think you just put them on there like that and up it goes. 
Boom. Now the one thing you gotta make sure you have enough room is you have enough room for the width. These come with about a 50% charge, which is cool uh, for this video, but I'll probably come back later and charge it. Let me show you how I do that. I got a power pack, regular old power pack. It's got a USB uh, port on it, right? So now it's charging. It takes a couple hours, if that. Uh, once every six to eight months. So it's not very often, but you can do it while the battery's up there. You simply just gotta reach back there, plug that in, you're good to go, and let that thing sit. And you can see how long the cord is. And then you need this right here. Now, I like to stretch that out so that cord gets hidden behind there. This is the front of the blind. This is the bracket installed. So if I measure that, it's about two inches. Personally, I hate blinds that get face mounted on the woodwork. I hate it, it looks horrible. If you can, if you have the depth like I do, you definitely want to mount inside. So if I set my brackets to quarter inch back from the front reveal of my window, should fit flush and look good and fit the battery. Not too bad. So we'll go about six and three quarters over. Six and three quarters is right, right there. Two screws per bracket. Screws are pretty good quality. Measurement from this end. Uh, let's put about 29. So I'm setting mine up with smart things. Yours may be different, so I'm gonna cover it real briefly and show you how simple this is. There it is. Add without a QR code. You just follow the instructions. Pretty simple. Brings up window treatment, you select. Yeah, that's what I want, window treatment, right? Then all you have to do is hold down this orange button right here for two jogs, where this thing turns on, turns off, turns on, turns off. So two jogs, about six seconds. Boom, success. Then all you gotta do is name it. Okay, this blind's ready to rock. Yeah, nice tight fit. Perfect measurement. Good to go. Should I test it? Do you want me to test it? Okay, I'll test it. One more to go. Install's pretty straightforward, to be honest with you. Since I have a remote control in my master bedroom already for the other two blinds I already showed you, I'm gonna add this one to the same remote. You can add up to five blinds per remote. So you simply just select the digit you want to go in. I'll make it my third. All you do is hold down the button on here for one jog. There's one jog, and then you hold the middle button, the stop button, for two seconds. It's programmed, that simple. So I got all three blinds on the same remote. If I select number six, all of them will go up and down based on what I want it to do. Let's see if she works with the remote. Got on number three right there. Boom. Okay, if you have guests come over and they're using a room, they wanna know how to shut the blinds and it's easy with the remote control. You remember this package? It's a little solar panel, keep the batteries charged. Kind of a cool little thing. I got it for the window in the bedroom but it's pretty good size and that window's really small. So I figured I'd go with a bigger uh, window and one that's a little bit harder to get to. Just like that. It's installed. Pretty simple, right? Then all I gotta do is plug into the battery, which is right there. Bingo. All right. I guess I never need to worry about that one again. Are you gonna replace all your dumb vines with smart vines for all the different reasons I showed you today? I would. So the only downside I see with these blinds, they're a little lighter than what the more expensive blinds are. But for two, three, four, five hundred dollars more blind, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of noise for the same features. All in all with a coupon, I can get all four blinds for about 250 to 300 dollars a piece. If you want to know more about smart wings, I'll put a link in the description along with a coupon in case you want to buy your own smart blinds. Hey, a little different style of video, but it's still gonna improve the value of my house. Hopefully keep my house in good shape. So I don't have to replace windows any earlier than you have to because they're expensive. Hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up, like, and I'll see you next time. Take care.